if you like nature, if you like you know, tanning, swimming, these kind of things. Maybe it's like a small version of soul? Yeah, a very small version of soul, yeah. So number two for me is probably, um, I, I'm Italian, so you know, in the summer, I, I need to get tanned, go to the beach, swimming, I need that. And this is my favorite um, beach in, in Korea. It's in Wando. So Wando, it's a highland, it's a small highland, uh, like in the, in the south of South Korea. So it's like, a, it's in Cholado region. So we are in the uh, west part and it's right at the, at the edge, I mean, at the bottom of South Korea. And also you need, you, you back in the days, you need, you need to get a boat to get there. But now they connected the highland to the inland. Uh, Is it anywhere bridge. close to Mokpo? Yeah, it's close to Mokpo. So the best way to get there, you can either have, you can either go back there by car. So by car, it's a four hours uh, ride, four and a half hours, or you can get the KTX. So the high speed train to Mokpo, and then from Mokpo, it's a one and a half hour uh, trip by Wait, car. It's still that far from Mokpo. Yeah, because it's an island, you actually go need to go down, and you you don't get there by. They don't have a highway, I think, but just even driving, the landscape is so beautiful. You're, you're surrounded by the, the sea and the mountains. And this, this, there's all, the whole island of Wando is beautiful, but in particular, there's a beach called uh, uh, Myeongsa Shimni. Myeongsa Shimni, Hesuyokchang. Uh, Myeongsa means like the talking sand. Uh -huh. And they, it's blue flag beach in Asia. So the, the blue flag beaches are like, a, okay, it's like a foundation for environment education. And every year they award the best beaches in the world. So if you get the blue flag, you're like the, the, the cleanest beach. They care about the, how clean the water is, how the place developed. If, oh, it's like a measurement. If they're that, aware okay. about the environment. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a way to measure the, the cleanest beaches in the world. So, so it's, it's a bit... Um, it's not really developed because, you know, they need to care about the environment and nature. So they only have one camping spot and a few like uh, hotels, small hotels where you can go, but it's just great. It's just nature, beautiful uh, pine trees. Uh, I have to admit, I have not been there or knew of it. It's a bit far, but it's, it's beautiful. And what you can do also is you can take a boat and you can, they, you can have a, every day you can go to a different highland. Hmm. In particular, there's an island called Pogildo. It's, um, it's not, and the coast is made by uh, small uh, rocks, like small rocks. Oh. So you can, the, the sound of the beach, of the waves is amazing. That's where the name comes from. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No, no, no. That's a different, that's a different ah, that's, highland. Okay. It's called Pogildo. And I, if you like, if you like nature, if you like, you know, tanning, swimming, these kind of things, it's the best, best spot in Korea. <laughs> Great food as well. My number two, Suwon. Suwon, city guy. City guy. City. Why Suwon? Um, first of all... You like Kalbi. <laughs> well, that's obviously one main reason. It's really close to Seoul. Right. Subway, an hour, hour. Less than one hour from my place, yeah. It really depends where you live. If you live in the northern part of Seoul, it takes more than an hour. Right. If you live in Gangnam area, it takes less than an hour. You can actually just take the... Punang line, I think. Yeah. The yellow, right. the yellow line down to Suwon. Right. Um, but when I first went there, um, what's what's this fortress called? Hwasong? Hwasong Fortress. Yeah. yeah. It's a UNESCO heritage yeah. site. It's yeah. like six kilometers long. So it's a really nice hike. Also, may, may, maybe maybe I'm a somewhat of a day trip guy because this is a day trip yeah, for sure. Yeah, Suwon is the perfect day trip from Seoul. Definitely. Yeah. And the city itself, you have a lot to do as well. People really don't recognize I it. I think that's like, everything in Suwon. Yeah. Maybe it's like a small version of Seoul. Yeah, a very small version of Seoul, yeah. But yes, it's yeah. a city. They have everything, right? Yeah. And what I also found out recently is that they have a special connection with one of the smaller cities in uh, in Germany, Freiburg. Ah, okay, okay. Recently... Freiburg is beautiful as well. Oh, you've I've been? been there, I've been there, yes. Yeah. It, so I really want to do some more research why there's this connection between Freiburg and Suwon. Mm. To, to me, it's really random. And they're like sister cities, right? They probably, became, probably, yeah. Yeah, but Suwon is great. I know also walking um, along the fortress, 
there's a spot where you can see the whole city, right? Yeah. And it's beautiful at night. Yeah. And right. But it, being a UNESCO heritage site, it means that it's really, you know, in Korea, there, there are many beautiful places, but uh, the majority of them have been reconstructed. Yeah. So that's why they didn't get to be uh, a UNESCO heritage site, yeah. because to become a UNESCO heritage site, you need to be like uh, authentic. But the Hwasan Fortress, it's an authentic one. So it's probably, it's been there for like uh, hundreds of years. Yeah. And so. And you could yeah. do that in half a day. Six kilometers, yeah, if right. you walk straight and somewhat fast, um, you can just go along the line. And I, re what I really like is each part of the fortress, when you walk there, has a different view. Mm. Some of it is still, still in the forest. Some of it is, you can actually see the city. Um, some of it is high, low. It just goes up and down. So. Oh, Suwon. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And now we're going to the number one spot. Number one. So for me, probably the... Do you want to start? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go. If you, you, want, you want to go first? No, go mine, first. mine is pretty boring. Go first then. My number one spot... is probably the same with me. It's Busan. Oh, okay. Busan. Okay, okay. Why? It's not boring. It's just I probably for, for the majority of foreigners or even Koreans, uh, the... the the most exciting city after Seoul is probably Busan, right? Yeah. And it's, a, and it's the best place for the summer. What I personally really like about Busan is the diversity of things you can do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right, Meaning, right. yes, you have all the beaches. You have Hyundai Beach, you have Kwanlani Beach, you have all the beaches. Um, you have the city where you can go out, um, drink, spend right, the night. Right, right. But also, if you go a little bit outside, you have beautiful temples. You have one temple that's really literally sitting on the coast right i've been there i know overseeing yeah. ah, what's the, the sea? super famous it's super famous i always forget the name yeah it's super every famous. single time oh no, me i knew that and, I, I forgot right. and the first time i went there you have it was during the time of the lateran festival right and when you go there during that time you have all the letterns um over the temple temple right and it looks amazing yeah, and you have all these random spots. It's one spots. of the best uh, yeah. Buddhist temples in Korea. Right? Yeah, and you have all the random spots around Seoul, uh, around Busan, where you have these, you have temples, you can go hiking, you have cable cars, you have amazing bridges. Yeah, that's one more temple I love near Busan. It's called Samgwansa, yeah. which is on the top of a mountain. It's also beautiful. Yeah. And there, wow, I, man, I'm, why am, I'm, I'm like, I don't remember the names. The, there's a small village in Busan, which used to be, uh, a village for like poor people and immigrants. Are we talking about the culture village? Yeah, the culture village. Oh yeah, right. Kamchon. Yeah. Busan Kamchon Munuamal. So it's Kamchon culture village. And you know, it's, it used to be one of the, the poorest area in Busan. And lately they've been like, uh, I mean, it became a cultural village. Yeah, so it's, they decided not to destroy it, but you keep it. And, and now it's really colorful. It's beautiful, man. It's, it, it, it used to be colorful back in the days as well, you know. That's the, the original. Yeah, and in the, the whole village is on the hills, but you can see the sea, so it's, it's so nice. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, so many things to do in Busan. There. And then you have the, like, the back, Baxco, the, the Busan Film Festival. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, International Market, yeah. uh, Fish you, Market. You could go so on many, and on so and on and on. So um, many places, yeah. Definitely. For me... Uh, I mean, doing a top five is so hard because uh, I had to leave out places like Chonju, which I, which I love. I love Chonju. I like I, I love Handong. I love Suncheon in Chalado. So many beautiful places, but then it's my top five. And for me, the best place in Korea. This is also it's nothing nothing new. I mean, people already knew know about that, but it's Gyeongju. So man, Gyeonju, I, I've been there two weeks ago and, you know, um, from a cultural and historical point of view, it's probably the best city in Korea because you used to be the capital of the Shilla dynasty. Yeah. And so you have one of the best uh, um, museums in Korea, I think. The Gyeonju Museum is just beautiful if you, if you want to learn about the Shilla dynasty. And then you have the, the, the old, uh, like, uh, Tom, the... Graves, Tom graves. graves. So yeah, the old graves of all the kings, the emperors, and then you have the Pulguksa, which is also one of the best um, temples, Buddhist temple, Buddhist temple in Korea. Then you have the Sokuram, which is the the, the statue of uh, Buddha, yeah. and you know it's inside a cavern, and it's also it's considered one of the best Buddha statues. Um, 
beauty statue in all like uh, beauty start in all Asia. And it's really beautiful and it's great to get there also. It's a nice walk in, in the mountains. So you can enjoy like, you can really enjoy, you know, the historical and cultural part, part of uh, Hyeonju, just, you know, walking around and visiting museums, and this and that. And then you also have the farm part. So there's, um, um, there's a lake called the Pomun Lake, you know, it's a big lake with all these fancy hotels. Uh, so it's very nice to walk around the lake. And then right next to the lake, you have the Kyonju, Kyonju World. Oh. Kyonju World is an amusement park and it's great. Just so much fun. And then right next to the Kyonju World, you have the, um, this place called California Beach, <laughs> which is a very nice water park as well. I'm, but I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, it's, it's as good as the one in Seoul. Also, the, 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 the Kyonju World has one, probably the one of the most scary, one of the scariest roller coasters in the world. So funny it's that very you, famous for that, you know? So funny that you talk about that now. I just watched a video about that. Yeah, like, man. Yesterday it's crazy. or something. It's crazy. I, I was there two weeks ago, but I was my kid, so I didn't really go there, but I need to, I need to go back. So the good thing about Kyonju is like, you have so many things to do and you can actually, um, you can borrow a motorbike. They are like, um, you can get this uh, electric motorbike and you can just uh, travel around the city by, by bike. Just beautiful. And then you have mountains. You can stay in a, Han in a Hanok. So there's a Hanok village right in the center of the city. I just love it. So I think Kyonju is, is probably the best uh, uh, travel like uh, spot in Korea. And it's so close to the sea as well. So in a, you, you take a taxi, 20 minutes, you're in the sea. So it does everything, seriously. That's the best for me. Amazing. Yeah. This was our top five. And Kyonju is like uh, two and a half, half hours from Seoul. Yeah, it's not that far. By KTX, right. Super, if you go there by train, super close, really. Yeah. Really. Cool, and man. So also to our listeners, um, enjoy the summer, enjoy your vacations. And if you have any other place you love in Korea or, or you'd like to recommend us, please um, leave a comment uh, on our YouTube channel. And thank you for watching and listening, I guess, wherever you, which platform you use. And see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Bye-bye.